before all of that, we're joined by a very inspirational little fellow. Now, at the start of the pandemic, eight-year-old Henry Sinclair has worked tirelessly to deliver and uh, collect and deliver supplies to his local food bank every single week. And his generosity generosity has continued this Christmas as he's been busy dropping off special festive goodies to those in need. And he is joining us now with his mum, Katie. Good morning, morning. to both of you. How's it going, guys? Morning. Good to Aww. have you with us. So, Henry, let's Thank start with you. you. What a great idea this is. And um, where did the original idea of helping your local food bank come from? Um, at the start of lockdown, I was worried that people couldn't donate to one can food bank. So I put a box outside my house and asked the neighbours to donate. That's such a lovely thing to do. And tell me, how have you spread the word? What did you do? Um, people kept donating and over a, a hundred children became street heroes. So how did they do that? How did people keep donating? What did you do? Uh, I asked my neighbours to Donate. Yeah. Amazing. Brilliant. Katie, tell us about the One Can Food Bank. What is it in particular? Is it is that a local charity or what's the yeah? What's the... Yeah, One Can is a is, is a food bank based in South Bucks um, that helps anyone in need. Anyone that needs to use the food bank can can go along and and, and register and help um, and and get food parcels. Ultimately, um, it's been crucial in lockdown. Um, you know, Henry Henry. I was worried, like he said, about how we could donate. We used to donate to the supermarkets, but in lockdown, he couldn't get there. Um, and the increase, the, the rise in the use of the food bank has been incredible, like incredible, really. Back in September, and um, they were helping about 350 people, of well, people. And then now it's about 600 um, people a week. And this is like in the lead up to Christmas, um, you know, and when it's, it's touched such a tough time as well. It is um, a tough time, yeah. Katie, and I'm not being funny. Like, your little... He's only eight years old. You must have been so shocked that your son has started this all oh, off and yeah. created this. You must be so proud. Uh, I'm immensely proud. I'm proud of his determination, his drive to make a difference. Um, this is him. He... Um, it, it kind of spun off of, off of his beaver promise when he started beavers, um, and he made a promise to, um, to help other people, and... That was it. It spiralled, and um, and he's still doing it now. Now he's eight. That was when he was six, and now he's eight, and and it's incredible. I am immensely proud of you, Henry. So well done. Oh. Oh. Katie, I was going to ask you where did it start. Is that what happened when, it, when Henry came home from from Beavers? No, so he just uh, we'd just gone into lockdown, and and it was part of scouting that we'd found out about um, One Can Food Bank, and um, we'd started donating in the supermarkets, like I said, and and then he was worried, like if I'm not allowed to go to the supermarket, Mum, how how are we going to donate? Um, and then then the idea came up about putting a box outside the house, and people dropped off stuff. Um, on their daily walks back then, um, and that continues. You know, we live in a small neighbourhood. Um, and the neighbours have been incredible, haven't they, Henry? Yeah. You shout at them, don't you, when they're <laughs> dropping stuff off. Thank you. Um, which has been amazing. And it's Henry... such a heartwarming story, isn't it? It just yeah. shows the best of what we can be, isn't it? Really lovely. Yeah. The, so, so, the, your, your hard work's got you an award from the Scout Association and Bear Grylls. Is that right, Henry? Yeah, I got the Commissioner's Commendation Award. That's <laughs> amazing. Have you got it with you there? Oh, that looks great. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. And is Bear Grylls, he's actually a scout well, chief, kind of isn't yeah, he? He's a chief scout. He's a chief scout, isn't he? Yeah. And we, we got to spend the day at his uh, adventure world, didn't we? What did you get to do? Um, snorkelling and... Skydiving. Sky indoor skydiving. I mean, you are an absolute inspiration. <laughs> What's next for you now, Henry? Are you going to be doing some volunteering? Um, yeah. Whatever. What do you want? What are you going to be doing? I want to go into the warehouse and help sort the food out. That is just incredible. You are such an inspirational person. And you should be so proud of yourself, Kate, because obviously this is your child. You've created <laughs> such a loving, kind person. How amazing is that? Uh, yeah, I, we're, you know, we, I am very lucky, um, and and it's his it's his determination that that makes me 
drop it off each week, you know. Um, I'm I'm just behind him supporting and and he's the driving force here. So yeah, I'm very, very proud. He also looks very cute in that hat. <laughs> and Santa is in the studio today, so um, he's actually dropped you off a little present for Christmas. This is for you, Henry. It's a little Lego uh, Harry Potter castle. We heard you <laughs> might like Lego, is that right? Yeah. So do you think you can put that together and maybe send us a picture that you've actually done it? Yeah, oh. thank you. You're more than welcome. You're more than welcome. And Thanks, thank you for buddy. doing what you're doing. Well done. Great job, Henry. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks, thank Katie. You. Happy Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Keep donating yes. if you can. Yes, Merry oh, Christmas. Listen, if people, if people are watching at home, um, is there, can you sort of point them towards anywhere that, where they can donate? Yeah, absolutely. If you're, you know, if you're in South Bucks or, or anyway, uh, contact your local food bank, but we're One Can Food, um, uh, One Can Food Bank Trust. Um, here in High Wycombe. So, yeah. Thanks, guys. Oh, thank you, guys. Well done. Absolutely amazing. <sighs> Brilliant. Still.